Hello everyone, welcome to the Dominion League Season 30 Championship match between Tracer and Marcus. Um, so Tracer had a very strong season, and uh, so he leads and he only needs two wins to be able to uh, take the championship title. Marcus will need 4.5 wins. Yeah, it's a six-game match, and we will play all six games. And regardless of uh, of if the outcome is determined earlier, I am Akuchi, and I'm joined in commentary by Wandering Winder. Hello. Yeah. Or is it Wandering Winder? No, it's Winder. You were correct the first okay. time. That's why that. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, Marcus has been in the championship match. Uh, I believe like six, six times, times if I remember. <laughs> and he's he's managed to win twice. Uh, this is the first time for Tracer, although Tracer has been in the A division for uh, s several seasons. Yeah, and looks like the game is starting. Yeah, we have another like uh, America versus Europe type uh, final, which we always seem to have. Usually, we try to get. A European commentator, but you're stuck with two Americans this time, I think. USA, USA, USA. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess that would be three Americans, huh? Um, okay. So we have a board. Yeah, we've got Paige, and that is usually important, but there aren't actually any terminals well, that you really want to play. There's the only things that can be terminal are Miser, Temple, and Squire, and I guess other travelers. Mm -hmm. So... And there also aren't any attacks uh, aside from war Warrior and Idol. Right. Um, on the other mm -hmm. hand... But they do both open with Paige. I, I feel like this is one of the boards where Paige might be skippable. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, part of the other thing is, is you know, Hero is probably a reasonable card on this board. It's not like there's a lot of draw. You might want to get a lot of warriors, because there's not a lot of draw. I don't know. Yeah, um, the the payload is pretty weak. Um, I mean, Lost City is, is fine for draw. Like, the problem with warrior as draw is you have to go through treasure hunter, so you're adding silvers to your deck, um, which warrior might not even be able to like net draw. Yeah, the payload is weak enough that I'm not necessarily sure that I would be that focused on increasing my deck. The other thing, though, about the the travelers is fairgrounds is here. Yeah, that's true. And so um, you can get up to eight point fairgrounds, right? Um, at least hypothetically. So, so Tracer opened with Page Temple. Uh, Marcus opens Page and then Banquets for upgrade. And uh, it looks like Tracer goes for a second page and a Wishing Well. Marcus gets an upgrade on a kind of lucky five coin hand and then pairs his upgrade. Well, I guess it wasn't too un un unlikely with the Banquet opening. Yeah. Um, and he's able to upgrade an estate into a wishing well and get another wishing well. So they're both making things happen. Uh, did Tracer's page miss the shuffle? That's what it looks like. Um, it's a little hard for me to follow so fast, but it's what it looks like based on what the chat is saying. Yeah. Um, they it's are playing quite quickly. Very quickly, yep. Yeah. Uh, so they're going hard after the wishing wells. It is the like cheapest, cheapest way draw. to get draw here yeah. um okay yeah i think with temple temple's pretty okay here because like you can pick up a page or a squire if you have two copper left right um tracer has been going for the pages right i think you only get maybe like one or two squires for the plus by perhaps and for the fairgrounds eventually mm -hmm. but yeah there's if, yeah there's nothing to turn it into um so 
that makes it somewhat less appealing and then yeah it's plus buy but um it's not like you're hurting for villages and it's not like you're hurting for silvers either with the treasure hunters that you're going through so um now they've after one upgrade they're they're switching to forum um uh, actually marcus has two upgrades yeah and two, two upgrades stuff. against just the temple but they're both switching yep. to uh yeah. yeah, it was a pretty good turn for Tracer. He was able to play with his treasure hunters, get only one silver from each, which is like a perfect amount of silvers you want, um, and then get the two warriors in the shuffle. So he's not far, um, and far in, behind at all. We're into about the only point in the game, perhaps, that uh, actions will really be hurting for either of them is this shuffle for Tracer where he has you know, two warriors in the temple. Oh, um, okay. I was really concerned there might have been a warrior trash there, but um, it yeah, did trash uh, Wishing Well and discard yeah. a upgrade. And and now when Marcus plays the forum, presumably finds his warrior, but that warrior is going to miss the shuffle. shuffle. Well, it, it so, has to miss the shuffle for sure, whether he yeah. finds it or not. Um, but now he's guaranteed to find it. Yeah, but Tracer's definitely a bit ahead after that. That pull. Cool. Yeah, so Marcus has the extra upgrade, um, two upgrades compared to a temple, so an extra trasher, I guess I should say. But uh, he also did the banquet to take that, so uh, had a little extra thinning to do. Um, yeah, Marcus has trashed at most one copper, I want to say. Yeah, if so I... He, he's still got eight or nine. Pull up the trash here. Uh, five estates have been trashed and three coppers, along with that wishing well. Um and it looks like Tracer is the one who has an estate left. Um, I th yeah, think... so Tracer's played Temple twice. He's trashed yeah. two copper. So Marcus has trashed one copper. Right. Mm -hmm. And the Squire is picked up now. Yep, along with the Forum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Forum's a real nice card to be able to, to make that awkward, like, seven hand or an early, like, eight plus hand um, not feel so bad. Right. Um, but also just helping him find, because he doesn't really want to get like a third upgrade here, but he would like to find his, the two that he has uh, more quickly and more often. Yeah, Forum's going to do great work. Neither uh, upgrade nor temple is like great at trashing copper. They'll get thin eventually, but it'll take a while. So Tracer's prioritizing playing that hero, um, and he takes a Forum and his Squire now. Prioritizes playing the, the hero over his his other uh, travelers, and didn't want to play the treasure hunter, which he could have kept over a copper. Um, but it would have gained, what, two silvers here, and he probably didn't want that many, would be my yeah, guess. Yeah, probably looking for an opportunity to get just one silver. Right. Uh, also interesting to note is a tracer gains there, not an idol. I've heard it said that idol is usually better than gold. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, idol is also easier to get later. Probably, so I'm yeah. not sure. Um, stuff saying idol isn't better against champion. Well, the the question is the the first idol, right? Um, is a random boon better than? Is a random boon uh, better than a money? Yeah, uh, perhaps not on this board. Yeah, well, especially given that that idol costs five, and so is easier to pick up later. Probably, my guess is, I would think that you would want eventually one of each traveler maybe i'm just wrong about that but um i he may don't get think another I'd... hero later i i wouldn't hold on to a treasure hunter i think that's just a card you don't want to have well he he actually held on to the hero he didn't turn it into a champion so he's gonna get another play out of it so an interesting play from marcus to intentionally wish for a card he didn't have in order yeah. to perfectly um draw through his deck without triggering a reshuffle. Now he gets his hero down, also gains a gold, and uh, Marcus with those wishing wells, he's got the 5-3 advantage, um, and that's... Uh, the 5-2 advantage, out. isn't it? Cause there's oh, one right, because one was trashed, yeah. yeah. And I think at this point, Marcus has trashed enough coppers to overcome that banquet. Yeah. I think he he's trashed three... Yeah, so they have the same number of uh, starting junk cards in their deck. I like triggering the shuffle there for Tracer. 
Oh, um, yeah. Uh, Marcus did not uh, exchange for a champion, and neither did Tracer. Yeah, so they're just holding has. on to the. Yeah. And I think that makes a good amount of sense. Uh, at this point, champion isn't doing that much for you. Um, Tracer's now figuring out how many silvers his treasure hunter will actually give him, probably. Um, yeah. Tracer has just the three terminals in his deck, I guess. Uh, Warrior, Hero, and Temple. So and Marcus has just Hero. Treasure Hunter would give him three silvers here, because there was a, a gold gained and a forum and a page bot. So <laughs> if he didn't want two earlier, <laughs> uh, he's going to take the three, though, because I think he wants the money and he wants to trash the copper. And he wants to hit yeah. five. So in retrospect, he should have he should have gained that. And or Sam is telling me that, I, that earlier I I missed something, and it was actually three earlier also. So okay, um, I'm a little bit surprised that Tracer hasn't picked up any upgrades. I think you will want one eventually, and especially because, um, well, especially now that he has all these silvers, you can start upgrading them into other stuff. Um, well, the only thing you can upgrade it into is my temple. You're fine with a temple, I guess, if you have the upgrades, because you just like get a little yeah. points, and then you turn it into something else. Well, and then you can turn the fours into fives. Look, I'm not saying it's exciting, but... Uh, there's interesting guess play from, one. from Marcus to upgrade a squire to gain an idol and wishing well. Ah, uh, yeah. So there is an attack, which I missed earlier, because it was not... Normally, I don't think of... Idol and Relic are both attacks as treasures, but that's a little bit unusual. So Mark is probably thinking here, what's he going to gain? What's he going to buy? He could gain an Idol or he could buy an Idol. I guess if he he might want to buy Forum and a Squire. Or Forum and a Page. Yeah, either one. He takes a second Goes Squire. squire. Yep. He also took gold rather than... Well, that replaces the squire he trashed, so he, he just is at one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I assume this squire is probably being taken as buys. And we'll see what the decision is here. Triple banquet, right? Um, <laughs> although at some point, um, you're not that far away from uh, pile starting to be relevant. Um, the wishing wells and the forums can run quickly and, okay, there isn't a third pile for a while, but it's at this point in the game that at least I would start to be thinking about, okay, how do, how do I need to position myself for piles? Um, yeah, I think with Squire on the board, you definitely have to... Um, be concerned about that pile out because if you get a couple squires you know that gets down to like five then all you need is is ten coins play two squires and right. that'll empty that pile right so it's it's not like pile endings are imminent by any means but uh they're not that far off and marcus has taken champion now and i think um i was gonna say i think that makes sense but i don't really know <laughs> exactly 100% well, what the purpose is. It's, it's fine, but... It's a little bit interesting. Like, Tracer still doesn't have a champion. Wouldn't it be valuable to get the second idol and try to get a curse in? Perhaps, but I think Tracer can can get the champion rather quickly, and I don't know that the curse is hurting that much. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this champion is doing. I think it... RTC there says it must just be champion against double warrior, but I'm not. Oh, oh, tracers two warriors. Yeah. Okay, so that yeah, Marcus doesn't want it's his pushing the... wells trashed. Mm-hmm. The defense of it. So six, and he has buys here and takes a lost city. Okay. Lost city. Hmm. I mean, it's. Kind of it's the best draw. draw. Um, you play yeah, warrior kind of... next, I, I think, right? Yeah. Um, Tracer's very close to drawing his deck. 
then actually there's he should be able to make these wishing wells hit right absolutely yeah go and uh, pick up what he gains which will presumably be gold yep uh, it could be an idol at this point I guess but yeah okay so so that was a good turn for Tracer. He has a lot of money. Yes. Three buys. Contemplating whether or not to trash the silver, I think. Uh, that's the only thing I can think. Because that was, like, he did get how much... an extra extra card from Marcus's Law Nine. City buy. I'm trying to figure out how much money he has. So he's going to lose at least one copper, but 9, 19, 23. So he's going to have somewhere between 20 and 22, probably. So he should at least pick up a forum, I think, because, well, unless he's going to get province, he has enough money that it's basically free. Um... <laughs> I think there's not a whole lot of value to building more with payload. So I, I would definitely consider getting at least one province here. Um, but temple could also be, uh, like that's gonna be up to four VP on the temple pile. Yeah. It just, it'd be so much nicer to have an upgrade. <laughs> like, I, I mean, with the extra temple. I, I think he could legitimately start thinking about getting another squire just to have even more buys also. Um, so, so Steph thinks that fairgrounds are just better than provinces. So probably we could, we could count uniques, but I don't think they're at 15 yet. Um, well, the question is, will they get there by the end of the game? And he... Okay. So, right now, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uniques. If I'm counting right, I'm just looking at his in-play area. Yeah, it is not trivial to get to 15 uniques here. Like, you have to work for it. You can do it, but sure. I, I don't think um, problems. And they correctly like point out that he just got an upgrade. So that is an 11th one. Um, it's not that hard to get to 15. Getting to 20 will be challenging, though possible. Um, he just takes a squire there, and now he's requesting an undo. I Probably think he expected he to, to have change. another buy. Oh, I was thinking or... that he wants to change his uh, traveler choices. Ah, uh, yes. So he didn't exchange anything, if I'm reading this right. Yep, so just holding on to a hero and the two warriors. So Marcus's warrior trashes a silver. like Which probably actually hurts, but not that much. Uh, at this point, like, especially because Tracer did get the second Squire. He'll have five buys. He can make use of all of his money, and he's still, I think, drawing or close to drawing his deck at least. Um, so these Wishing Wells are pretty bad for Marcus now. He just has too many cards to be able to reliably um, figure out what to, to name. That's three misses. And it's funny. He wished for Silver, Silver, and then... On the third one, he actually had a silver, but wish for copper. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Classic wishing well. Um, so this silver's going into, I assume, temple. Yeah, that 4 yep. BP is too juicy. And if he can draw it all up, he can then upgrade that temple into something else. Yeah, we'll see. He should know what the last two cards are and be able to pick up here with wishing well, although tracking all of that is not so easy um yeah i assume that's what marcus is doing right now just giving it a think um, and he can also just play the forum because well i'm not has... sure how much draw he well let's see he is he has at least one more wishing well i'm pretty sure is one of those cards um i'm not so sure about that i think tracer has three wishing wells at this point well maybe oh there's two in the trash maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong oh. then. if there are two in the trash then, then that's marcus's last wishing well five, yeah 
Okay, so he knew what they were. There's the temple. Temple's getting upgraded into I'm not sure. He can't draw it up, so idle doesn't seem very valuable. Well he Should could he? draw it because he has a forum, but he can't draw he can't draw everything, but he can maybe draw. Okay. So he goes for this, lost cities. This lets him get very close draw to drawing almost everything. everything. Right, he'll have one copper there that he didn't draw probably a copper I think it's a copper anyway um, three buys here we'll see what the uh, he gets to discard the copper <laughs> um, there's no reason to not play all these treasures so 15 here he needs a little bit more draw it looks like so Marcus also um, has 11 11 uniques yeah yeah but he he also has to be worrying about um, piles at this point. Because the original suggestion of Triple Lost City, which would make sense because he needs more draw, will probably lose to a pile out with Wishing Wells and Forums. Um, so he probably needs to get some... Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if he necessarily needs to get piles here, or points here, but um, he only has the champion and a warrior one warrior as travelers and were I him I would be wishing that I had more of those but I mean it's trivial it's all... to pick up a, a page well except that his buys are so limited that it's not necessarily quite that easy but he could do something like Province, four and page, and a page. Yeah, and or yeah. Any I'm not five. sure which five is best, but yeah, that let's... would that would bring him up to 13 uniques. Fairgrounds would be a 14th. So at that point, like he once would... you have the province, it's pretty easy at that point to he get. He takes um... your suggestion of forum with the page there. Could have bought a another zero, but makes sense not to um, so he's not going to be drawing everything because he's he's just added an additional stop card to his deck and he was already missing drawing at all by one well um, yeah I think the forum the order is gonna but it's gonna determine a lot of that because if he can forum before wishing wells that's gonna help him out yeah so that's true um, also he doesn't necessarily need to draw quite everything and with the forums he's going to be able to draw most of the valuable stuff, so he'll probably be okay anyway. Um, Marcus also might want to upgrade I'm, his second upgrade into a fairgrounds like I'm on his next turn. Thinking about whether Tracer can end the game here. He's not that far off. The problem is scoring enough points, because um, he can. He has five buys, and then banquets make all this stuff cheap. Um, he can upgrade his temple into a five, and then he'd have to use some buys on forums. I think he can end, but only on a loss here, is my guess. He well, can hero for more money, but he's very close. Yeah, I didn't think about the banquet line. So that only takes um, 18 coins to empty piles. So Well, yeah, he... he's missing buys, so... That well, makes it a little bit trickier. Will forum help there? Is that only uh, when well, you buy this? Okay, never mind. It's, it's when you buy it, so it will cost yeah. him more money. Um, it might help, but he's... I mean, how much money does he have? 6, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17. I mean, he has enough money to get to the 18. But, uh, like, scoring enough points and doing that, I don't think is something that he can do. Um, four. Like, uh, he can definitely end the game because he can upgrade his temple into a five. Maybe he has the win. No, okay. I'm like, he can upgrade his temple into a five, and then, um, and then he could have, you know, into a lost city or a forum, and then. Oh no! Idle um, first. Idle first. 
Or maybe none. Oh, if he... <laughs> <laughs> not idle first. And he's is he just going to take triple here? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay, so but the idle does put him up. I think he's got 13 uniques now. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting move, right? Like, why not... Why not go after Fairgrounds at that point? Like, you could go could Province, Duchy, province. Fairgrounds. Well, that's not worth as many points as what he did. Yeah. I guess he could have gotten but, something else, but... Right. Yeah, Marcus close. is in a very tough spot now, though. Got a dud there, yeah. Um, I and mean, I think you just have the Province here. You mean Fairgrounds? <laughs> no. Uh, you, think, you think Province? Yeah. I mean, Tracer probably can't get three provinces again that's like true but if tracer gets like one or two provinces marcus well, i thought was... needs to play for bigger hmm. fairgrounds i could be wrong i mean i mean eight point fairgrounds is not realistic so no it's but it's a question of yeah i think he needs i guess to play whether for the that buys game. you in, yeah right buying you another turn i see what you're saying like six point it's fairgrounds actually... is something he can get for sure I guess you can go for him with Fairgrounds, yeah. Yeah. Like, the pile threat is... Well, the pile threat mm, is something that Tracer real, can yeah. do pretty easily now if he finds both now he has, Squires. Yeah, because he, he has a fence that lead. kind of line. Ooh. Uh, is this enough money? Hold on. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. No, he's one money short because he has to trash something with the upgrade here. Well, he would need 12, right? Oh, he needs... Yeah, yeah, because it's... Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. and also he's he not can't getting there. Get, he also can't get the buys if... Like, he has to play one of the squires for plus action to be oh. able to play the hero. Oh, to be able to play the hero, yeah. Okay, so scratch all of that. Yeah, so um, a couple duds. Takes another idle. Hmm. Buys. Let's see what he takes here. Could take a province. I I would think province because I don't think Marcus can triple. So Tracer also doesn't have a page, so he could get page fairgrounds. Fairgrounds. Was that? I'm I'm lost where we are on uniques count for Tracer. I think Tracer's up to that was fourteen. A, that was a four point, and he. Yeah, he's definitely not at at six yet. So, He's at 13 or 14. I think 14. Yeah, I wonder if he could have taken a, a one-point curse there. I'm not suggesting that that's necessarily good, but... No, he can just pick up a Dutch here in a state next turn. No problem. And he should safely be able to count on having a next turn, since Marcus is 12 points behind and can't make that up and end the game. Uh, unless yeah. he gets quad yeah, Tracer, province or something. Which... Tracer has 14, and he can actually um, trivially... if he Well, if he sees both one warrior and a hero, he can actually just use the uh, uh, exchanging to get to 15 uniques. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Or if he sees the... Well, no, the page doesn't help, obviously, because he doesn't have a treasure hunter. Okay, so this upgrade is going into a fairgrounds, and they're both on four-point fairgrounds right now. Um, a little bit surprised that that wasn't forum into fairgrounds, which he could have done a couple times. Um, but maybe he's worried that that's going to hurt his deck too much. Yeah, that, that was an option. I'm got a lot of forums. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, which is a fine place to be, but... Oh, wow, I forgot. Marcus's warrior still attacks, so that could be important at some point, although it wasn't the hugest deal there. Yeah, I don't think it would ever put Tracer... Oh, I guess Temple. Trashing Temple huh. would reduce his he uniques. He just discarded two silvers to the forum, and I guess it's so he's trying to line up his wells later, but that seems a bit strange to me. I think he has enough draw to get it all. Well, maybe. 
I don't know why he's playing well here, but I guess it worked. I mean, he had to discard Province and Fairgrounds to his next forum, so it's not like it was all silvers down there, and I don't know that it could have been. Um... But yeah, he draws everything regardless, I think. He so just has so many This last card is a silver. Um... Yeah. Yeah, he... This... This draws it all. He could even... No, this just draws it all. And he doesn't have to worry about Wind's Gift from Idol anymore. So he can <laughs> safely play Idol first. Because that's the only negative first. Uh, I guess if you get plus one card immediately, that hurts him the most. Well, but immediately or later it wouldn't make a difference, right? Correct. So... Doesn't the really order hurt. only the, or only matters for Earth's gift, I think. Uh, and Sky's gift, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Flames is now he's got to work out whether he needs this copper or not. Yeah, he chooses. Well, I mean, I wouldn't trash it, I guess. I'm gonna go out on a limb and uh, guess that this is not a tracer alt in the chat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Bold, bold, uh... bold prediction. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I do. Um... <laughs> so Tracer definitely has more monies than Marcus has. Yeah, uh, be so because Marcus replaced that hero early and earlier, never yeah. mm -hmm. never got another one. Yeah. Right, nine. So he does trash the copper here, which means he's worked out what he wants to get, which is that and that. Still didn't okay. get him to. Well, Page can go to Treasure Hunter now. Yeah, but oh, he has two pages now. Okay, so yeah, okay, got it. Yep, that boosts up and his that fairgrounds. boosts up his fairgrounds. Okay, so this is very very close now. Um, I think you. Hmm. Forum or wishing well here. It's kind of tough. I think I think I'd go wishing well. You don't really want to draw up the stuff that Forum is discarding at this point. So. But if unless you hit on your well, you're going to anyway, right? Oh, I guess if there's another well down there, and he could. He has another wow. Warrior. He did hit, which means. He also has a warrior. He probably right? knows what this is, and it is the warrior. Yeah. You're right. So yeah. this worked out. And yeah, he gets to draw he everything. He gets to draw, well, at least everything relevant. Potentially, he also gets to... He has a chance to draw with the hero. Ooh, this... Mm. This yeah, would be this a bad a trigger. Sh tri shuffle the trigger. There is an upgrade yeah. down there. Um, so you could start thinking about, is this game ending? He knows there's, there's this page as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So it all worked out. So he can think about pile outs again. So if he upgrades an idol here into a fairgrounds, mm -hmm. and then he can take... Oh, maybe that was the idea for the second idol. If so, that was uh, some thinking way ahead kind of play. So this takes anything, and he can get a forum, a wishing well, and can he get two fairgrounds? Yeah, this should be enough. 12. Yep. This is easily enough, even without needing to banquet. He gets the fairgrounds here, mm -hmm. the forum, and the wishing well. He's probably just double checking that. Can also buy an estate. Yes, which I think is worth a lot of points for him. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Oh. He banquets and idle oh, that ain't how to do it tracer well whatever mistakes were made oh, oh he... no he did it with the traveler upgrade okay yep that okay. works <laughs> um, well a state, all right so a state tracer... would have still been one more point but you know we'll we'll let it slide <laughs> trace tracer takes the first game he only needs one more to win the championship yep Okay, well... Snapperick saw the outcome uh, from the beginning of the game. He said, clearly, first player advantage. Yeah. 
determine it now. <laughs> so here we can clearly, clearly see that they're playing with Renaissance. Oh my, two <laughs> projects. Two projects and uh, two more uh, Kingdom cards that are also from that set. It's a pretty sad capitalism board, though. <laughs> it only... There's a Salvager and Dame, and Dame Sylvia, Sylvia. <laughs> which is on top. It is. Um, but you want to play Mass Salvager, with, which combos with Experiment, so you're definitely going for it. So um, this board, hilariously, has almost all of its components untrashable by the Knights. You have Alchemist and Apothecary, which have the potion. But the potion itself have... is trashable. Sure. And then you have... <laughs> Hamlet, Courtyard, and then, like, if you get Forge. But it's just funny how much... Yeah. I, I don't expect Knights to play a big role here. But Dame Sylvia works with capitalism. That could be too tempting. On the other hand, uh, the trashing is not so great, so the, the chance at revealing, the, you know, your one in nine chance of gifting your opponent with some free trashing. Um, so with Apothecary, you could potentially just try to get forge like getting seven coppers yeah. in hand with some apothecaries is is definitely reasonable yeah particularly courtyard helps uh, yeah they're both extent. opening with uh potion potion courtyard mm -hmm. courtyard marcus gets a apothecary on turn three tracer goes with a salvager he'll be able to get an apothecary on turn four now yeah, they're mirror mirroring the uh the other interesting thing here is that um, what is your eventual payload? Because it's not like there are any good payload cards on the board. There's kind of sort of Forge, and then it's like Salvager, again, kind of sort of, but it's mostly treasures, right? Yep, it's a pretty weak, <laughs> pretty weak payload. Yeah. So, I mean, gold is always there for you, but um, that's pretty much all that's there for you. <laughs> I, I assume you draw these and put the... Ooh. If he does draw these and put the Salvager back, then he's going to for sure draw a Salvager <laughs> with four coppers. So. Yeah, well, the order of this doesn't matter. So <laughs> It's just Marcus is you know, banging, you know, banging his head against yeah. the keyboard or whatever. Of course, we do know that Tracer does have Salvager with four coppers as well. He doesn't. Marcus does not know that, obviously, but um, you could stick a copper back, yes, and then you'd hit five the next turn, but um, why do you want five is an interesting question. So because... Dame Sylvia isn't, is like pretty okay as a top knight because, well, no, not for Marcus because he's already got three terminals, so, or he already has two terminals. Yeah, I don't know. Nah. They both have two terminals, right? Um, yeah. Just making sure that Tracer hadn't inexplicably trashed his courtyard. Okay. okay. So, so Marcus takes... goes for Alchemist? Yeah. I think that's fair. I think that makes sense. And... Like, you want either one or two Apothecaries, I think, before you switch to Alchemist. And you might just get a two I mean, I think turn. putting Salvager back is okay. And he takes Experiment, and he's going to try to hit seven this way or at least hit six i mean forge is gonna be pretty bad i guess you can salvage the forge after it's done sure ending up the copper and that was very fast um yeah tracer also goes for alchemist over second apothecary uh marcus not a great set of cards to see i assume that you still play the court here well he should know what these last so he has one copper his alchemist is obviously the top card he knows he has salvager necropolis and i'm trying to think what the other there's another experiment yes um alchemist experiment Copper, South Necropolis, Necropolis. Yeah, that's five cards. Okay, I can count. We've, so we've cracked the code. Yeah, 
none of those drawing would help except the copper, which would let you get a six if you wanted that. But you probably just want the alchemist anyway, so. Or are at least happy enough with it. So it looks like Tracer has an opportunity to hit seven if he wants it. Question is, does I mean he he could have uh, yeah no never mind um, he could have salvaged an experiment I think which may honestly be a play that comes up here because it's the only well it's one of two yeah. ways to get it's one of no there's more than two but there aren't very many ways to get extra gains and it's pretty weak in terms of payload. Though. Uh, I agree, but it's kind of Maybe payload while gold. you're not necessarily taking up as much spot in your deck. So in a steady state, like, because you can play one experiment and then trash the other. Yeah, I mean, the the cool thing about it is yeah, Com you, yeah. the first experiment you see, you, it draws you up. And then the right. second one, yeah, you can trash for payload. So, so it has that advantage. Once you get there, then it's, you know, maybe maybe better than a gold. Um, this is not something that I've seen happen before, so I don't know how realistic or on their mind it would be. Yes, there's many ways of getting extra gains, but they're not that many, and they're not that good. There's a couple of knights. There's Candlestick Maker and Hamlet. Oh, Dame Natalie would actually be good for the experiment thing. Oh, yeah. Dame Natalie would be great. I mean... This is, I so think, probably the is. biggest problem with Sylvia is that maybe it's good, but then there's several knights that you could be revealing that would also be... And he takes Hamlet with Experiment, which suggests that he wants to be able to play Courtyard and then Salvager after, or yep. I guess the uh, other way around. Also just being able to flex the two buys, or to have Yeah, two the buys extra buy. Sure, I was thinking in, as, as opposed to say candlestick maker mm -hmm. but uh yeah i like the flexibility of hamlet over candlestick maker yeah because you want to be drawing your deck so the coffers part of candlestick maker uh, is not super valuable i'd say i mean it's still something but you're right it's not super valuable um so tracer has to figure out what he what he actually wants here Has eight money and a potion plus whatever, plus or minus whatever his salvager does. Um, so this is okay. He takes hmm. a Hamlet as well. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point they have enough draw so that foraging coppers isn't actually that good. Might as well just use the coppers as part of your economy. My guess is that Marcus will want to draw on here. Yep. Now, this is an interesting play order decision because right. it's the overgrown, the overgrown estate. estate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And now we have the same decision here for Marcus that Tracer faced last turn. Um, it seems to me like Tracer is about a half turn ahead. He's got three alchemists already. Um, in terms of what they've trashed, they're even. Like so, if, yeah, it... if he buys alchemist silver here, I think they have identical decks, but Tracer has the first turn. Maybe yep. I'm wrong. I think that's accurate. Of course, he doesn't have to take a silver, but he does take a silver, so... <laughs> Over the course of the first, like, eight and a half turns, Tracer somehow gained a turn by his draws being better, so... Okay, now we get to see whether Tracer might um, salvage this Necropolis or not yeah and just how do they build from here like yeah it's not you want to be able to get alchemist gold ideally I, i'd say e... 
So can he do that here? Seems. No, he could go Apothecary Gold or Alchemist and some kind of experiment, maybe, so that you can start salvaging the experiments and go on that plan. Just keep all the copper from now on? Yeah. I mean, as long as oh, he keeps... Ooh, ooh and oh. he's revealed Michael. Again, it's one of the many knights that I think is better than... Um, Alchemist, um, also slightly interesting with the knights, I want to yeah, say. Yeah, I think, because... I think Michael's going to be pretty... The discard attack is, hurts Alchemist quite a bit. Well... So that also, but the knights in general, because you're going to have alchemists on top of your deck, they're quote unquote safe, but they're in your starting hand anyway, which means the things that aren't safe, that aren't in the price, that are in the price range are more likely to get hit by the knights than if your deck was random. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're getting close to the point where you don't care if your potion is trash, though. Um, so all that's not left sure is about that. one silver. Oh, you're you're saying for top decking alchemist? Yeah, I mean it's it's valuable, but okay. Well, and I and close to the point maybe, but I think you do want to finish out the alchemist first. I assume here he should slam alchemist and Michael. Yep. And Molly is not a particularly exciting. And I think it's an advantage that Marcus has his Nicholas left, so he can play all his terminals at, at at this point now that they've turned for knights yeah hmm. um that that was a lot of not playing cards from tracer what happened uh he didn't have any village before mm -hmm. okay and now he's missed the potion so his alchemist stack is not set up I'm... Yeah. Yep. This could be tricky. I guess Tracer discards Salvager and Copper to the Michael attack. Okay. So only one Michael attack because Dame Sylvia was there to defend. So now. So this Marcus... could be Salvage Silver by Alchemist Gold? Or yeah, are the knights could... important enough that... I, I like the idea... Oh, well, I guess gold can get trashed by the knights too, right? Yeah. If, he, mm -hmm. if he wanted to go alchemist and a knight, then he should have discarded for buy rather than for actions. Um, and I would think he was thinking that far ahead, but I guess it's possible that he wasn't. Yeah, this is... this. I mean, it, I can... I can understand making this mistake. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the salvager, so I definitely want, yeah. Okay, so he just trashed the silver, and and let's see what he gets here, along with the alchemist. Josephine is not very. It's, I guess plausible to get. that you wouldn't want to take, that you would rather not have the silver in your deck, but. Yeah, I mean, replacing silver with gold doesn't help against knights. So Marcus gets Josephine, exposes Vander. Vander's a little bit better. Yeah. But Natalie's still in there, which is even better. Probably the best one here. And now Tracer, yeah, doesn't get the buys again, so... Okay. Um... So Marcus has plenty of with his five alchemists. Yeah, and it's it'll be interesting to see what he salvages here. Um, at this point, he could seriously consider salvaging the potion, which, yes, obviously makes the alchemists not top deck, but at some point you probably will want the money. You could get two knights that way, yeah. Um yeah, he could take two knights, um, even on the one fifth chance that Whoa! he just goes for Josephine and says, Meh. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to replace you with a better knight. Um, I assume. Wow, man, that's cold. He had enough actions to play Josephine, too. Sure. Oh, and now he's revealed Natalie. Interesting, interesting, interesting. He takes a copper. This is also very interesting. Yes, he's figures. He's got enough draw. I mean, Bailey is definitely... Yeah. Nothing trashed to Molly there. Yeah, these are pretty resilient against the Knights, so... Um, I guess we should mention, although it's probably evident by this point, should mention that um, they're able to uh, discard multiple things to Hamlets all the time because they have the Apothecary they're playing later, which conveniently draws up the discarded coppers um, once they get mm -hmm. around to it. So that's a nice little interaction and another plus for Hamlet. Um, So now this is eight plus or minus whatever gets salvaged here. Um, yeah, getting a second apoth carry is pretty reasonable. Yeah, at some point, again, he could also think about salvaging the... Uh, he takes Candlestick Maker instead, salvaging the potion in order to get, say, Double Knight himself. Um, so at this moment, the... So if, if he wants to play enough stuff here, he's going to have a little bit of trouble. Oh, immediately. And Dang Natalie immediately is, is gone. Okay. So now Marcus could salvage Vander here, which gets him a gold. Um, which that he would then give draw. him. A, yeah, then he could buy two knights. <laughs> well, he could buy more than two knights if he had the buys. Actually, and he will have the buys because he's going to draw Hamlet. He could buy three knights? Is that right? Yeah, he could buy three knights. Uh, uh, he does not have enough actions to do that. Oh, you're right. You're right. He's lacking an action because of the order that this stuff is in. He could draw the gold from Vander, but it won't help him because he'll be out of actions. I mean, it's completely reasonable to get a um, province here too, right? Well, that's going to depend on who you ask. You don't need actions to play gold, but you do need actions to play your Hamlet to get the third buy. Um, and you can't draw the gold. Um... I predictably the chat does not like your province suggestion. Um, the payload here is so weak. And he just goes for Vander this way. He's gonna salvage his potion. No, he salvages his courtyard. Okay. Takes apothecary and Anna. Okay. Build to what, Seprix? Build to what? You can maybe build the double province. But it's a little bit risky all the time. Because um, if either of them loses their salvager, that's a big hit. So that could well decide this game, right? And here we have 9, 10, and he's just going to get, well, if he would have been tracking his knights, he would have known. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's tough. Oh, he spent the coffers needlessly. Yeah. Yeah, so now, Trace, Tracer has three knights. And Marcus has only two, right? Okay, so Tracer wants the game to go long at this point. And Marcus should want to um, try to find a way to end it. Also threatening 
that's not quite. I'm wondering like how close the pileout is. Experiments only take five gains to uh, to get there, but I think you might salvage the Vander. I was gonna say, but I guess he does not want to. Can obviously discard two things here. Yeah, no, I would not be salvaging Vander in Marcus's position. Well, this is going to trade with Destry because the salvager is super important. Um, yeah, Destry is probably the best knight that Tracer has, but you always just got to trash knights to knights. Well, you certainly don't want to trash the, the salvager. Wow. Okay, no, that's what happened. I'm... Kind of blown away by that. I guess Tracer's okay with going even. Wait, no, never mind. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think that the Salvager is important both for plus buy and for money. Well, Tracer has Sir Martin at this point, but he might lose it at any point. So, Marcus can salvage the potion, have 11, and do something like Provix experiment, or he can salvage the copper and do something like experiment, experiment, or silver experiment, or I'm not seeing a lot of other options that seem very good. Yeah, that was a bit of an odd choice, but we'll see what uh, how Tracer decides to. Could just take a gold close. here also, but he goes for apothecary, candlestick maker, candlestick maker. I mean, these builds are very slow. I mean, ultimately, Marcus will be getting a gold from Vander. He's hoping sooner rather than later. I'm he is threatening to pile out, I think? Because he can... Ooh, that, now they Ooh. both lost their salvager. Okay, well, now he's not threatening to pile out. But what what pile are you thinking of? Experiment. I mean, he'd need fifteen. Yeah, but if he salvages Vander and then draws the gold. Hmm. Yeah, I see. He just need the buys in that case. And he just got two candlestick makers to give him extra buys. So ah, uh, okay, that's uh, perhaps <laughs> the line he was looking at. Um, it's kind of a long shot, I think, for it to have happened, but, um... These decks are I'm not, not sure really getting that better. that was enough money anyway. 6, 8, 11, 16... That wouldn't be enough to win. So I think he was one money short, actually. So I don't think that would have won anyway. But... So Tracer has, um, no... No Vander to give him gold. I think he needs to either get a gold or two silvers here. Or silver. No, nah, I don't know. He's got plenty of draw right now. Yes, Marcus is first player, so it would be losing for him. Um, I'm aware. <laughs> uh, so Tracer goes ahead and gets one One money gold. short, I think. Um, or would have been one money short, anyway. Um, okay. He kind of hopes that his Vander trades here, maybe? Okay, well, it does. Whether he was hoping it or not, um, he's going to be able to draw and play this gold here. Yeah, that was the best case scenario, I think, for Marcus. So... Now he has hmm, an interesting decision on what, what to do here. He might want to trash the Necropolis now. I don't think it's doing him... Well, I'm thinking he good. might want to rebuy Salvager. At which I, point I, it would be. But it's all very close. He has four buys. You need a couple more, so... There's a lot of interesting choices that he can make here. 
Um, again, I think his best chance is probably to try to do something with experiments. Um, gaining experiment is also fine here because again he can play one if he gets a salvager and an experiment and some stuff but he just goes for this and coppers and coppers makes sense it's a night proof economy and his apothecaries especially that he has so many now are going to be able to draw them so this is this is a way for him to play the long game and not necessarily um not necessarily be just out of it in the long game despite his knight's disadvantage yeah i think that's a pretty smart direction for marcus to go Ooh, and the gold gets trashed there so that's that hurts a lot yeah and an apothecary gets discarded. Well, and now, so Martin and Anna have traded, so. So now the only knight left is Sir Destry. Yep. That Tracer has. Yep. But Marcus doesn't have much that is knightable left in his deck. There's just the potion, I believe. Uh, and one silver, I think. Uh, no, he doesn't have silver anymore, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you're right. Tracer continues to build on. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I Tracer... apothecaries are very safe. <laughs> um, as you know exactly when they're going to be able to pile. Uh, here, you want to leave an apothecary, do you? Well, mm, it's interesting to think about if any, what if anything you want to leave on top here. Because yeah, you know yeah. that you're going to have five alchemists on top, so if you whatever you leave on top is going to get hit by a knight, most likely. Yeah, that uh, seems pretty good to leave it on top. Well, he leaves an apothecary, but not the necropolis, and now he's going to draw the stuff. So now he's leaving a province on top, which seems the best thing to leave, because yep. you assume that you're going to get knighted. So I think that's a smart little play. Um, we'll see if he goes, yeah, he's going to go but, for another Apothecary of Province and probably more Coppers. Possibly more Coppers. Maybe not. Yeah, I, I don't think he needs to get more Coppers. So he's ahead in Provinces. How right is now Tracer going to be able to close it? Right now he's steady state being able to buy a Province and an Apothecary and have this one Coffer left over. Mm -hmm. If he gets more copper, then he could buy more. But um, so he's I'm not challenging sure Tracer to be able to catch up in points in three turns because he can empty piles. Yeah, Tracer's going to have to start doubling pretty soon, or have Marcus dud. Um, Which yeah, if you have five on top, he of your does deck. take the coppers so. I think Tracer's best chance is to be able to nail this uh, potion, but it's only a one in many chance. Um, I guess that's another small point in favor of getting the coppers, as it insulates your potion a little bit better. Um, I don't know. Marcus yeah. only has four buys right now, so you'd have to get something else. Wow, that's the perfect flip. I guess it's not quite perfect, but it's pretty close. Province Duchy. Okay, so mm -hmm. Tracer's going to try to catch up that way, I guess. But he can't do that next turn because he spent two coppers, two coffers, excuse me, and he will only have one next turn. Right? Am I wrong about uh, we've that? We've got a semi dud for Marcus here. He misses his potion. Yeah, which means. He's got a pretty good set of cards on top of the deck, though. It's two apothecaries, the potion, and some stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, Hamlet. And some one copper, I think. That's the fifth. Three copy. apothecaries, actually, oh, isn't three? it? Three. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit hard to track. I I apologize. I think uh, Marcus has three apo uh, five apothecaries total, and Trace Tracer has two. We'll see in a moment. Um, this is perhaps worse, not because the alchemists miss, but it might just be worse because he 
can't get an apothecary this turn to continue that pressure. So he, yeah, he could. He has some options here. He could go province experiment, province candlestick maker, province courtyard. Yeah, I think having a courtyard at this point is pretty reasonable. The experiment would potentially provide some amount of pile pressure, but so does so does yeah, the so Marcus, candlestick yeah, maker. Yeah, goes with the candlestick maker. He's got a potential of, uh, is it four buys now? With two candlestick makers and one hamlet? Um, that, that makes five. Uh, he has three candlestick makers now. Oh, he has three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so he, that's five he buys. Has... He's threatening to be able to pile out experiments if yep. he has a lead and can draw enough stuff. But I'm not sure that he will have a lead. Oh, wait. He has to be able to, right? My... Uh, no, can't, tra Tracer can tie, right? He can't make, you know, he made 13 last turn, but he used mm. two coffers, and he can't do that this turn. Yeah, I don't know about that Dutch key then. Six, nine. Well, he 10, 11, did buy 12. a copper. Oh, he did buy a copper, so he can. Yeah, yeah. And he has to, I think, or should, I guess, maybe is a better way of putting it than has to. He does have a little bit of extra draw, although that's going to start decreasing rather quickly. He does get the duchy. Is he going to take another copper? My guess would he, be no. Yeah, he doesn't need it to repeat this feat. I think if Marcus does not dud here, he's in a really strong position because he can set the province total to two, which makes it very awkward for Tracer yeah. to navigate the end now, game. Now, I don't know how likely it is that he does dud, though. See, he's gotten a province and a copper off top of his deck, so that's pretty good. Do you play Hamlet here or Apothecary? I assume you play Hamlet next. Since you can discard the two coppers, I think... I like playing uh, Hamlet here. Well, Probably... I, I mostly just want to be able to have my Apothecaries draw more. Yeah. And so I want to play that. and then. But you also want the Hamlet to be able to discard. But I guess he doesn't even need the actions, so... Yeah. Yeah, you definitely don't want to discard for actions. Cause Ooh, that Apothecary was put four coppers in hand. That was yep. a, a hero. I mean, he has a ton of coppers in his deck, but yeah. But now he's out of Apothecary, so that's... Uh, but he still has this Alchemist. He has... Yep, that's uh, yep, all but okay. one card. So he would have been able to... Well, he would need 15. He has... Yeah, he would have been able to end it here, but he's... Because Tracer was able to tie, he can't. Going back three turns, I think Marcus should have trashed that Necropolis to Anna. But he can double province here. Um, I would... I mean, you can do that, but there's also no need, I'd say. Like, you have the potion, so if you just well, province... So the, and... they're right that Tracer can't double. If he does double, then Tracer can double Duchy and then try to province duchy the next turn and if marcus duds then he's in trouble does going province duchy here rather than double province help that not sure that it does or i guess I he could all, go just single all roads win here well like, i like province apothecary yeah province apothecary looks six coffers reasonable i guess I mean, double province is also probably winning, but if Marcus does, and then he the could lose. The downside to double province is that if you go double province here, then if you can't afford province your next turn, you could lose. Um, and you won't have any coffers left. Um, having said that, I don't yeah, know I think this he... is... I think this is he, slightly better, but it makes very little difference. Yeah. He wins 98% of the time. Uh, 
Uh, he said 98, I thought, but, you know, whatever. Um, double Dutchie has to be the play. That's actually not even a bad dud for Tracer, because he still gets well, he, to deal with Double Dutchie anyway. is all he wanted to do. The only exactly. thing that he didn't and get... And got the potion. The only thing that he didn't get was... No, he even got the Candlestick Maker. It was as good of a turn as he was going to have, really. In fact, it's maybe better to dud there. So, But this is a double double province here, and that should just be the game. All right, so Marcus takes one. They are now one and one. But Tracer will be starting in the third game, and if he wins that game, he will win the match. So that was a really nice pivot to the copper strategy, um, which allowed that victory to happen there. Um, even after losing the night split, so. Yeah, I'm still not sure what the takeaway there on how important the knights were. I think if nobody, like, I don't know. Like, maybe maybe they're ignorable on, on that board. It's hard to, hard to know. I, I'm not sure. I guess not when Michael's revealed, right? I, so once Tracer takes Sylvia... Yeah, Michael is something you want to take because the discard attack is relevant for sure. <laughs> um, we have a new board, and immediately Tracer cargo ship on three. Pretty good open. Uh, Fountaine. So... Coppers are knight immune, as we've just seen. So you go for fountain, and you take your 15 points to the bank. <laughs> um, I This is a lot going on here. Um, so Cursed Village is probably the best form of draw. Uh, there's also Nobles. But Nobles has to be paired with... Either Cursed Village or Hideout. Hideout needs food after a while, so it's not clear... Exactly. So they both open with cargo ship and hideout, and uh, on turn three, Tracer gets a doctor overpay for one. Trash is a copper. That's a little on the weak side. Um, um, Marcus gets a second cargo ship on, on his turn three. Okay, and an armory here for Tracer. And then Tracer only manages to trash one copper with his doctor play. Yeah. Marcus gets a band of misfits. I assume uh, this is kind name. of. Oh, it names Overgrown Estate, which worked out really nicely. Huh. Um. Yeah, I mean, hideout. You definitely want hideout. To... So, well, I mean, it could have worked either way. Band of misfits can be played as Sir Martin. <laughs> um. Uh, that's pretty amusing. So long as Sir Martin is there, there's no chance of going away. Yeah, on the <laughs> on the other hand, how long can we really expect Sir Martin to be there? I wouldn't be that stunned if it were gained right there, but okay, he takes the silver. He's probably was tracking what these last cards were and knew that he was unlikely to have enough money that he wanted, so he wants the silver in the next hand. Yeah, Band of Misfits can also be like a hideout conditionally, which is pretty right. nice. And then but... it can stop being hideout once... You know, yeah, what is it going to be, though? Probably cargo ship, which is not could too be, exciting. I was going to say it could be armory, but <laughs> if you're finding, if you're struggling to find <laughs> things for Band of Misfits to be, then we're probably also struggling for things to armor, for armory to gain. Whoa. I guess armory it can... for armory, or Band of Misfits as armory for armory as Marcus, sorry. Um, yeah. and then I he... don't know what that armory is doing. Well, we're going to see right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it can gain Sir Martin, but then what is it? Well, if you wanted to gain Sir Martin, you could have just gained Sir Martin. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm not fond of the armory, but we'll see what they do with it. Hideouts, like, okay. There is definitely a limit to how many hideouts you want. <laughs> Maybe they're just not worried about that yet because, you know, they're uh, they're going to get thin first and then you can hide out the hideouts to each other and think you're okay. So Marcus picked up the, uh, the um, what's his name? Sir Martin? Yeah. 
now Tracer needs to figure out what he's doing with the armory. He gets another cargo ship and buys Cursed Village. So he's going to play some kind of draw to X deck with Cursed Villages and cargo ships, I guess? Seems slightly strange to me, but what do I, I know? I mean, with outposts on the board, I think you do the Cursed Village thing. I mean, yes, I, I, I agree. I think Cursed Villages seem good, but that whole conception also seems a bit weak tonight, but I guess... Um... Cargo ship and curse village have a bit of an anti synergy, which is interesting. Like, kind of. I mean, you're you're happy to but have you one. Can, you can make but... sure that you have a curse village at the start of your turn, and yeah, but then it'll only draw one card. Yeah, it's nice on the outpost turns. Well, I was going to say guarantee... particularly for the outpost turns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This hand looks pretty good from Tracer, though. Uh, I, I knights are obviously oh, wow. going to be super important here. I wonder. If at any point, maybe this is crazy, but like, do you think about Charm to be able to get a Knight and a Cursed Village at the same time? Or your Outpost, whenever that is appropriate? Um, he's going to Armory is... a Hideout here? No, it's just a Silver. Interesting. Charm is the only plus buy, also, right? Well, other than Martin. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's drawing his deck. Yeah. Wow, there um, I missed a. Oh, that was just a. I, I didn't notice that doctor this play. Three copper trash doctor wow. on turn eight. Yeah, that's very strong. Yeah, and Tracer goes in for outpost with just the one cursed village, but he should be able to set aside a yeah. uh, cursed village. I was going um, into his outpost turn. He probably. Oh wait, no, he can do that here, right? Oh, no, no he, he can't. can't. He if... only has four. Oh, yeah. So he was hoping to see the Cursed Village in his hand. Or, um... well, he could have also had his second silver along with the cargo ship in this. But there were a couple ways he could have gotten it done. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's not going to work out here. Not I was, out. I was thinking charm there so that I could, do, I could start doing that trick. Because he's drawing enough that gaining multiple fives per turn is, is something he's going to want to be doing soon, I think. So the upside of the Cursed Village missing is he can, he knows it's going to be in his outpost turn. Yeah, because he knows the, well, assuming he doesn't play the armory here, or plays the armory for hideout, I guess. I think, yeah, I mean, he could play cargo ship. I don't think Tracer wants a hideout because he has nothing left to trash except Doctor. Well, the other hideout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he could just not play a second terminal, or I guess he could play the doctor, but I don't think he has anything left to trash with it that he wants to. No, I mean, he's playing, he's going to play Outpost. Oh, Outpost, and then right, Cargo obviously. Ship, yeah. yeah, no, sorry for my stupidity. Um, uh, so... I don't know. Cool Modi says Tracer is just miles and miles ahead. He's definitely ahead, but He's I don't know about this miles a, and miles part. A lot thinner. A lot thinner. Um, but it's like not that hard with Hideout to, to catch up. That's true. And he goes for the charm here. He had... Oh, he had Envious, um, which doesn't make much difference. I always get those confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we'll see what Tracer picks up here with the four coins he has going into his outpost turn. Yeah. That outpost turn should be great. Um, could just be some form of... I, I mean, the thing you really want is a charm, but... <laughs> yeah, cargo ship uh, yeah, seems okay. Money is, is what I was expecting. And now you probably lead on hideout. Nah. No. Like, what are you going to trash with Hideout? Now you can trash the he Doctor. He has plenty of money, though. Like, he does, he can afford to trash a little bit of it. Oh, I see what you're saying. But I think Tracer wants to pick up... Yeah, yeah he picks he up the charm, the charm, but he, he really wants, wants another get... Cursed Village. Yeah, but I, th I think what he's aiming for here, and this looks like a really good turn, although we'll see what yeah. this Martin hits. Um... 
I guess that's another point in favor of armory is that it gives you more stuff for the knights to hit. Um, it's not a great point, but it's something. Um, but if Martin hits, um, well, it can't hit the most important things here. I can't think it hit a charm, but I guess no matter what it hits here, it's hitting a hideout because he has two hideouts, I believe. Oh no, yeah, he put that on his cargo ship rather than on top of his deck. Interesting. And the charm is in his cargo ship set aside, so I'm all kinds of wrong. Um, I don't I don't like uh, Marcus playing Band of Misfits as a hideout there. I think I would have liked to see it as a cargo ship so he could afford uh, five costs. Yeah, you, you really want to get two five costs here if, as, as Marcus. Um, well, if, that's if just can. not possible with this draw. I don't like the armory. You'd like to get at least but, one, but yeah. I, mean, I, I didn't, I didn't, didn't like, like it at the, the time. Times, and I still don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like if that armory is a silver, he's just in a better spot. And if it's a cargo ship, he's even better. And he puts a cargo ship on top, gains another cargo ship. Yeah, and, and he knows, Marcus is he knows that he has the cursed village here. So, yeah, uh, Marcus is very, very nearly clean at this point. Yeah, like his next turn, he'll be clean. He's just a bit behind now because Tracer gets two so turns. now Tracer has to figure out what he's going to armory there and he takes a silver which I mean what is yeah he can use the charm for plus take it for the take it for the oh, game okay. here and get another yeah. cursed village and uh, a knight I would assume or a charm yeah or could get another charm that's true but Oh, he interesting. He bought the knight first to see if he wanted to gain the knight underneath it, but of course he he wants a cursed village. Yeah, that works, right? It's differently named, not from a different pile. So, oh, he bought he bought the cursed village first. They gained the knight first. So armory gaining a hideout, which is a little odd. Oh no, he Oh wait, Tracer has a necropolis. Okay. He might yeah. trash the necropolis and the cop. Yeah. Um wait. Tracer does seem to be a large amount ahead, but the if if there's a good knight hit here, it might not be Yeah, Steph pointing out and as well as others uh that the uh knight gaining another knight thing never works um with charm. Well, I would definitely mess that up. Um, so this could be Band of Misfits as hideout to trash hideout. I th or it could be hideout to trash armory or a cargo <laughs> ship. I think Marcus I really he... needs Martin to hit outpost here, basically. This is super awkward for Marcus. He's got too many things that don't do good things. He needs more cursed villages <laughs> and an outpost. Like, how do you play this hand? It's so awkward. I mean, you trash a cargo ship. You play Band of Misfits as hideout because you're desperately looking for your cursed village. Um, I don't know. It's tough. Or you're you're looking for your outpost. I don't know. You're probably he crashing. Have, he doesn't have an outpost. And... Oh, he doesn't have an outpost. Well, you get an outpost. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you might be right. Trash cargo ship. Play band of misfits. Hideout. I mean, you're, you're probably going to trash, trash armory, the whatever. armory also. I I think you're probably you're very likely to trash them on your next two plays. I mean, what else can you play band of misfits as? Nothing, apparently. Okay, he'd rather not trash. He takes another charm. Interesting. Oh, Marcus only has one cursed village. Yeah, he's it's over. Oh, yeah, this is... I thought he had two, yeah. 
It's very He's over. just behind in, like, every way. It's kind of unfortunate if Marcus doesn't resign, because this game will last a while. <laughs> I guess he's, uh, to be honest, I don't see myself recovering from the last two turns. I'm not sure that it was just okay. those, but they didn't help. Um... All right, he's cargo ships the cargo ship. Not quite following the point of all of this, maybe, but it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Congratulations to Tracer. He won the two games necessary. And maintains his undefeated record in champion matches. He's now one now. <laughs> Indeed. Well, better than my uh, 0 3 record. So. <laughs> and Marcus. Uh, better, than another my, better than my place. 0 0 record. So. <laughs> Ooh. Battlefield is. Interesting, I guess. <laughs> mm. Transmogrify. Wow, they're Crazy. playing this super fast. We've banqueted for Witch on an ambassador board. Only one player <laughs> opened with ambassador. I'm so confused. Oh, there's also ambassador battlefield. Oh, oh, they really are blitzing. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, there's the Ambassador oh, no. Battlefield, but Marcus still. is thinking he loses. There's no village, I guess. Wait a second. Marcus uh, returned coppers. No, he he revealed copper. He revealed but copper didn't returned return none them. because he wanted to get the mill for those sweet, sweet battlefield points. Oh man. Oh, but Tracer is definitely leading the battlefield points, so I think he's gonna win. Well, you know, Marcus just returned estate, giving him some. So there you go. What a mistake. So you play mill first. Oh, oh, you can you can call a rat catcher, so you do that. Rar. Transmogrify this curse into a copper. Uh assume that it's going to get ambassador but sure <laughs> <laughs> not calling the transmog buying a silver okay there's another mill almost all the battlefield points are gone now marcus and now they are it. all gone there he goes tracer has resigned has resigned? Okay. I guess he's much less thin. Oh, wow, yeah. I didn't notice that. <laughs> They're playing Turns too out, fast for me to notice at all. Oh, wow. Don't, don't think it for me. Witch on an ambassador board. I think uh, that's a lesson there. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's um, a lesson. Hmm. Again, there's no villages here. Yeah, but you can inherit Leprechaun. Um, you can also inherit Trade Route. <laughs> uh, so Tracer buys Giant as his first five? He, yeah, rather than Old Witch seems... I, I don't know. That doesn't seem... He's going to spike for inheritance, I I guess. I'm not sure exactly what you're inheriting here, I guess. Guide? <laughs> inheriting guide does is it, hilarious. Does that, does that work? <laughs> uh, you cannot call it, I think. Uh, I don't know. No, 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 I guess you it can. Gains, right? you it gains the, the abilities still? and types, so I think, yeah, you should be able to. <laughs> it, it gains the abilities and types in all zones, so... As long as it's yours still, right? Um, yeah, as long as you own it. 
and you do Which own you it do. on your tavern mat, so... Yeah. Tracer has a leprechaun for who knows what reason. Oh, he oh probably swindled. got swindled into it. Wow, they're really blitzing fast. This is this is far too long of a thing, clearly. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 okay. So Tracer decided that... He didn't want to play a guide? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay. And he didn't want to play a giant. Right. He just wanted to gain that gold, that hot, hot gold. I mean, gold is good in a swindler board. I mean, I think gold is just good on this board in general with no villages, which means that you have no draw and very weak thinning. I don't think Tracer has enough terminals. I think that's definitely his problem. That's why he bought a giant. Well, at the time, he had many fewer. So. Oh, no, somebody messed up the chat. It's Anders fault. Um, okay. There's a horizontal scroll bar now. I don't have a horizontal scroll bar as everyone watching the stream can confirm. Oh man. What's your oh, secret? now I have one. RTT. <laughs> I probably had a wider window. Which I may have just messed up the streaming thing because I just widened it a little more. But okay, oh, no. no, it's still it's still mostly fine. It's only the rightmost quarter of the vertical scroll bar is now cut off. So, so whatever so, reason, for whatever reason, the curses are uh, the guides are out, and there's probably a third pile that's gonna. But run they're at some point. they're even on towers. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> or basically, I don't know, the estates and curses and whatever, but between all of so that... So now, now when Swindler hits curse and turns it into copper, that actually, no, that will have no effect it on It has points. no effect on points, and right. that trade route trashing a curse also had no effect on points. Same with that developed giant. trashing a curse. <laughs> There's so many... You need to kill, you need to kill those, uh, and he gets platinum rather than province. I guess the, the isn't really that's a third fair. pile that's super close to ending. Um... <laughs> Giant cannot give out curses. Marcus gets a province, though. Boom! And that ups Tracer's trade route. <laughs> oh, now Marcus gets a platinum. It's looking good for Marcus, I think. This turn from Tracer is very inspiring. Well, on the other hand, now Tracer's going to have a very good turn. Well, a pretty good turn. What's the platinum split look like? One and one. Swindler's going to go into develop? I think develop mm. is the worst. Dude, mm. That trade route makes too money I now. Think, I think Leprechaun is the worst. I think gold is good enough that the leprechaun's still okay, maybe? Maybe there are enough guides so you can actually see the gold, but I was just figuring the game's going to be over gold does much. Wow, this looks like a really good hand for Tracer. Silver so into more trade routes. These Colony. trade routes are actually pretty good cards now. I don't like giving the trade route there. That's my yeah. um, hot analysis. Trade route strong. Horn of Plenty, on the other hand. Not so strong. <laughs> it's a pretty bad Explorer variant. And boom, Giant goes down to another Giant. <laughs> this is eight, so another province. So the thing that makes the most money this turn would have been trade route. I just want to throw that out there. Well, yeah, apart from the platinum. Now, now this giant is, is stronger. So this is going to be seven. Maybe you That's don't giant yeah. here so that you'll have a better giant later. Oh, yeah, guiding makes sense. Ten is kind of unfortunate. I don't think wow. I would have guided past that. What? Whoa! This is some aggressive... His deck seems much better, though. <laughs> wow, look at these double Horn of Plenty. Okay, market. this Swindler goes into Swindler. Interesting. Strange. 
buy a duchy to up your trade routes because you have more of them. No, he takes a swindler. He, All the he doesn't even play the Horn of Plenties, incidentally. Well, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's correct. So this is oh. nine for a province. Yep. Marcus takes the lead. Now Tracer takes the lead. How will it end, folks? Oh, well, that's Here's a colony. A colony. <laughs> Probably not the distribution that Marcus wanted to see. Silver into... I still think develop is pretty bad, yeah. Okay, guide, guide, guide. You play the trade route here, right? Yeah, you buy the penultimate province? Yeah. I mean, you're very likely to have a good next hand. And Marcus only had four guides down. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> four guides is a lot. And he oh, finally gets there. there. Go. Yeah. <laughs> only four guides. Yeah. Wow, a lot of curses got trashed. Impressive. Yeah. And one guide, apparently. Uh, so I think they've played. I think this is the I last one. Okay, this might be the last one. Right, because it was three games before it was decided. It was decided on the third game, and they've played two Blitz games now. The really yeah, fast resigned, and then that one. So this is the Ac sixth game. Accurate. All right, we got Stonemason Quarry here. But what are you gaining? I guess Wild Hunt and Mining Village. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, that's what I'd do here. Trash some with Monastery. Get to Quarry. Wait. Nobody's getting quarry. Stonemason for stonemasons. What the heck? I mean, Come it gets on. you labyrinth points, but so does messenger Come for on. something, which seems better to me. Get the quarry. Stonemason quarry is real good. I mean, but you I need guess... those. You need those labyrinth points. Those are going to make all the difference. Uh, advance that's, that's makes true. stonemasons slightly less terrible. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'm not sure what you're advancing into exactly, but you're going to play hunt, this messenger apparently. here. And you're going to buy something. Not sure what. And then you're going to advance. And you're going to be able to trash a bunch of stuff with this monastery. Uh, okay. Well, I don't like that duck it because you were able to trash that thing anyway, but whatever. Yeah, so they're using advanced to build up the mining village wild hunt stuff. Well. He could have advanced mining village into mining village there in order to trash a uh, another copper, so if he so desired. Mm. But that's the kind of play that you miss in Blitz. <laughs> yeah, I did um, not see that. Okay. And it's Turn. very hard for me to watch both of them, so if you're going to complain that I've only been commenting on Marcus's plays, then you're probably right. <laughs> they uh, both so actually is... get to pair a village and a, a draw card. I'm a little bit surprised that he actually spent the coffers there to get the quarry and didn't just advance a bunch of stuff, but it works fine, I suppose. So that's like Marcus almost drew his entire deck. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And this is going to be two mining villages? Stonemason for wild hunts, maybe. I don't know. You kind of want a, 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 a. What I really want is a, a wild hunt and a mining village, but such was not available. Quarry makes some sense. Quarry makes a lot of sense. So now the pile outs, the pile outs, they cometh. Yeah, especially once you have. Because you, you have Advance, and you have Stone Mason, you have Quarry, you have... Um, you might want to get some more Duckets, 
Potentially, yeah. So that's an unfortunate draw off from Marcus. He didn't see his quarry or his other wild hunt. Does he have... Uh, he doesn't have any more villages, does he? So he... Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I'd overpay for... Villages? Mining villages here, yeah. That seems to likely be the play. He's going to advance and stonemason for wild... Wow, that's a lot of wild hunts. That is a very wrong thing to do, as Marcus. Um, Evidence is what you see in front of you. Well, I don't know. fine it's fine <laughs> it would have been better to advance into wild hunt and gain the mining villages um um what is happening here because this game is very close to being over it i'm surprised he's not trashing these mining villages it isn't quite over because he doesn't have enough buys right and there's I mean, now he no has... more oh he has stone he definitely has enough buys he has villages. the linen hand no he's... yeah okay yes he does he'll, he'll get there yeah wait uh, does he have it anymore i think he lost it he needed to not play that wild hunt or to draw another one well colony and <laughs> oh gosh it's the colony game uh yeah uh no wait he can still messenger right Messenger. Uh, yeah, Messenger, Mining Village. And yeah, then... yeah, yeah. He got yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. With 11 coins to spare, most importantly. Yeah. All right, so Marcus ends up uh, winning the last three games. Marcus clearly better in the sample size of three at Blitz. Yep. Um... Tracer needs to up his game. Uh, okay, well... That was the match, one of the fastest, uh, yeah, perhaps the fastest uh, league championship ever. Um, so. Having said that, it was uh, almost an hour and 45 minutes. So mm -hmm. <laughs> still not like it was super fast, but uh, yeah. the first three games were the hugest chunk of that, I imagine. So um, yeah. anyway, thanks everybody right. for watching. And uh, you want to close us out here, Akuchi? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, congratulations to Tracer for winning the 30th season of the Dominion League Championship. And uh, thanks to Marcus for coming up runner-up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, from Akuchi and Wandering Winter, thanks for watching. Catch you next season.